Hello, Michael Mock here. I'm here to create these videos for actually my friends. The reason why I started this is because all my friends would start calling me probably once or twice a week and I found myself spending a lot of time explaining to them what I learned after working nine to ten years in construction and remodeling. So I hope these videos will be useful and helpful for you. Hey, welcome to the kitchen. As you all know, the kitchen has become the party place that everybody wants to hang out with. So therefore you want it to be open, at the same time very space efficient and also cooking efficient. And speaking of efficient, to create this open look, we're going to talk about a couple things. We're going to talk about the use of colors, we're going to talk about the use of accent walls, and then regarding efficiency, we're going to talk about efficiency with your cabinetries, and at the same time efficiency with your, your cooking appliances, because these are totally critical to the, today's modern living. So in this kitchen, one of the concerns we ha we'll have is actually this whole area being dark at night. That's why we have these three LEDs above the counters. If you notice we don't have any upper cabinets here. It actually keeps it open, but at the same time, it's really to allow this accent wall to come through because traditionally a lot of times you had 18 inches above and you would not have an upper cabinet. Now you keep this all open you have the ability to really appreciate this brick mosaic of calicata marble from Italy and also Lago Azul. And this is nice because it gives a warm tones, it's a little bit of cool tones, and it really complements this particular countertop. This countertop has some faux marble meaning because this is a quartz countertop surface. It's very easy to clean and also it looks beautiful. One thing we want to do is also keep this cabinets white. So that once again, the white really accents this wall, really points because it gives that extra contrast. The other thing that we want to think about is that you notice all these handlebars, these handle pulls. Well, they're all horizontal set. Everything here is horizontal set. It's actually set for a reason because now everything's pointing at this wall, like physically pointing. Your eyes getting drawn. Even these long cabinets, everything's drawn back to this wall. Therefore, this accent wall really pops out. Last thing we want to do is we want to keep the floors light as well to make sure that this is a very open space. As you can see, this is a whitewashed oak. We have this natural, beautiful veining. It's a little gray yet whitewashed, but it really pops this off because this is going to really stand out. At the same time, we want to make sure that this kitchen looks warm, open, so you feel like it's a, it's a really nice place, not a cool place because the kitchen is the ultimate hangout these days. Now we're going to talk about space usage and efficiency. So this is a really, I love these. I don't have them at home, but I'm waiting to get them. So this is great because look at this. Look at how deep this is. This is all the way there. You can just store so much, you know, flour in here. You can store your appliances, your Vitamix. Look at this slow close. It's beautiful. The other thing we have here is this is a corner cabinet. It's always challenging at times because it's not very efficient space use most of the time. But we have a lazy Susie. I've got this got this uh, can of Mac nuts, courtesy of my mother-in-law. Thank you, mom. So we've got this lazy Susie up top, up bottom, and then this thing I really like. This is a pull-out drawer. Look at that. All good space usage. You don't have to think about the days where you're just reaching and grabbing towards the back anymore. It's all in front of you these days. I mean, it's just look at this. It's right here. You don't have to worry about it. Now we're going to transition to some of the cooking appliance features for efficiency. This oven, this is a Wolf steam oven combo, steam convection oven. You see that fan in the back? That's actually part of the convection part. What's great about that is it spins around and actually circulates the heat. Therefore, it makes it much more efficient. Comes with the temperature probe when you're roasting. Yes, you can roast this. So this is great because we have two ovens here, two convection ovens. So the steam oven feature is great because you can be reheating rice, leftovers, this thing here is a reservoir, good for 90 minutes of steaming. 
The other thing that's cool is that uh, this convection oven pretty much replaces, so this steam convection oven replaces your microwave because you use it for reheating. You can also replace it for your toaster oven because you can toast things in here or just reheat. Think about you know, grilled cheese sandwiches, quesadillas, you name it. Down below, we actually have a larger oven. It's also a convection. It's a dual convection because you can see two fans. Therefore, it's making dual. But what I really like about this is this actually, this pull out here, look at this, full extension arm. Really convenient. Once again, you, know, you don't have to reach all the way back in there. It just comes to you. It's a safety feature, right? When you're handling hot things, you want it to come closer to you because coming closer to you means it's safer. Yeah, I, as a kid, you know, I burned myself once. And I wish I had that back then. So another storage feature we got back here. This is actually a pantry cabinet. It's got really great pullouts. I know most kitchens you have more stuff than this. This is obviously a demo. You can store whatever you want back here against full extension. So if you notice, it's all about space usage and space efficiency. You can, everything comes to you because it's less likely you get hurt when all the food comes out. I like this refrigerator because it's wide, French door style. Look at this. I think still the coolest thing is, I love slow clothes. I don't know what it is. It's just kind of cool to watch. Look at this, slow clothes. Wide storing, big dishes, pots, maybe your turkey or pot roast. This thing's cool. It's actually got an air filtration unit in there. So the last thing is talk about space efficient. You notice this cooktop? Guess what? There's no range above here. So where did the range go? Actually, the range is right here. This is a downdraft. So once we turn this on, this is a gas range burner. We can then pull the, you can watch the show. And that is slowly rising. You've got your downdraft and it's gonna slowly start kicking on. You can hear it now. Downdraft here, airflow is pulling over here. One thing pretty cool, you can pull these apart for cleaning. Yeah, a lot. You can actually throw them into your dishwasher. So that is the cooktop and a downdraft. So just want to remember, when you're creating an open and efficient kitchen, you want to be very conscious of your layout. You notice we use this openness. We created this whole wall of cabinets. So it's all the storage is on side. We kept that wall open with no upper cabinets. Again, with accent tile on the wall, you have linear pattern, keeping it open. It makes it actually look longer. It's pulling out your room. So it's up and down. And similar to if you're wearing a striped shirt that goes up and down. It makes me maybe half inch taller. For someone else, eh, maybe six inches. And the last thing is about efficiency. We're talking about efficiency in the cooking appliances, including in the refrigerator, storage, and efficiency in the cooking. So now you're ready to join me for a party. Thank you for watching my video. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to comment below or write to me on my blog. In the meantime, enjoy your remodel because this is the opportunity to create the home you love.